Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. Well, we're gonna be taking a step back real fast from the jailbreak scene, but I wanted to give you guys my review, my thoughts and opinions on Recover It Data Recovery. This is something that has been very near and dear to my heart and something that I wish I knew about a long time ago. And if you've never tried out data, Recover It Data Recovery, you can download this for first and foremost from your, your either your Windows or your Mac computer. And what this program promises to do is that it will allow you to restore old data from a deleted device or you know whether it be a memory card or an iPhone or a USB drive you can recover any sort of storage material you know media off of this off of your devices within this program so it's a very simple three step process where you just select which data you're trying to recover it scans the device for you and then you end up getting that data back so something that has been Re reviewed by again with C not with again but with CNET with Yahoo they have some, just people have been reviewing have had a lot of good things to say about this program I tried it out for myself and it's honestly something that I'm I'm so shocked that I didn't know about earlier and I wish I would have known earlier I'll go into that in just a moment and you'll be able to hear why I wish I knew about this but this is an amazing program their website is very clean very well put together just right off the bat but I wanted to show you guys and just kind of give you guys my thoughts and my take on the whole matter. Now, I'm currently using the free version of Recover It for Mac, but they do have an essential standard and an advanced pro or different programs. They have different tiers that you can get. So not only are you getting, you know, the main version of Recover It, but they do provide other different other different features for the application itself. So whether or not your computer has crashed, whether it be, a, again, Windows, Mac, if you, your computer has crashed or there's some sort of problem with it, you can recover your, your own computer from the, with this application. It's even crazy to believe that you can even bring back other you know, sorts of media from crash or from uh, computers that have been completely wiped out. And again, this is something that I wish I knew a long time ago. So you can currently buy the Essential for $79 all the way up to $119.95 for their premium version, the advanced version. So really cool, a really interesting tool. And just the, the again, layout with their website, that always is something that I look into or something that I like to check out how well put together is their website, how well does everything seem to flow. So they have every step-by-step, -step, they have a tutorial guide section. So if you're stuck somewhere, they have everything from downloading and updating to licenses, policies, they have everything. They have other different people that have reviewed this product as well too. It's very well known and I guess it must have just slipped under my radar. But this is something that I tried out within just a USB drive and it just I was surprised that it was able to recover my data. So let's go ahead and jump into the application itself. So this is what it looks like when you download Recover It. So this is the main version or the main hub of Recover It. And you can either restore data from an, you know, an external device. So whether it be a USB drive, whether it be an iPhone, iPad, if there's something that you have deleted on a device, you can get that back. So as much as if you wanted to download or if you wanted to restore media from your actual main uh, hard drive from your computer, you can do that as well. Save that to your desktop and then you can just hit the start button and it will start to scan whatever, whatever device or whatever media storage that you have and it will go ahead and make sure that it populates that media for you. So also you will need to make sure that you do allow access to the actual application itself. So just like in my previous videos, if you're looking to use a third party application, you need to just make sure that you go under security and privacy, go under general, make sure that you unlock and authenticate yourself and then make sure that you do hit the allow. So you'll notice at the very bottom is the system software from developer Wondershare. That's them. So do make sure that you hit that allow button. Go ahead and relock, and then you should be able to go ahead and proceed. So if you get this little message about letting your Mac or your if you're letting or I'm on a Mac, but if you're letting if it wants you to make sure that you allow uh, Wondershare to be able to use the application, make sure that you follow those steps too. Then make sure that you enter your passcode. Go ahead and unlock it, and then you should be able to start scanning. And you'll see here there's a little progress bar here that it will show you how much data is being recovered. So it will go ahead and scan through the device. So if you plugged in, again, a USB, it'll scan through the USB, and you'll start to see media start to pop up little by little. So it's something a really cool, again, a really interesting tool 
to be able to have, especially if you're consolidating things or if you're trying to get rid of media or if you're trying to, you know, and you accidentally deleted something by mistake, you can get that media back. So it's something I was just completely blown away by and just something that I really was like, my gosh, I can't believe this actually works and that I haven't had the opportunity to, you know, know about this earlier in the past. But this is something, again, anybody should check out. Really try the free version if you guys like that and you feel comfortable with that, definitely check out their paid version. So like they have the essential version or they have their complete package. They do, again, it goes for $119 a month. So honestly, just being able to have that security of knowing that all your data is gonna be backed up, it's gonna be you know, restored whenever you need that. It's just in case if, if you deleted something and you want something back, then you can do that with ease too. So I really do, honestly recommend this program this is something that i have unfortunately had to deal with in my past uh i've had a situation where i had an old toshiba or toshiba computer or laptop and my daughter's first baby photos were on that computer and i ended up just trashing it because i couldn't get the photos back because it ended up just crashing on us so had i known that this was a type of program that i could just throw in my computer and just link it to my mac and then run this recovery system and get that data back. I would have done that with instead of just trashing the computer. So if you have data that you, you know, are just, man, how do I get this back? I can't remember how to get this this media type. I know I remember having it on here. You can use that with recover it. So I definitely would recommend this to anybody who has lost that media and who wants that media back. But I hope you guys did like this quick review quick little tutorial. If you guys did, please like, comment, subscribe, check out Recover It. Make sure the links will be in the description down below. So make sure that you guys do check them out, show them some love, try out their free version, and I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.